Hi there. I'm going to do a little video on core parking, how to prevent core parking in Windows 7. Um, you can open up your task manager here. Um, you'll notice in here you have your, your CPU windows. Um, in my particular instance, I'm just using a, an AMD FX4100 uh, processor, so it's essentially it's a, a dual core with four logical cores, so two physical cores, four logical cores, um, that's what you're seeing in the four logical cores here, all in operation. Um, down here you click resource monitor, you can inflate this window. Now you'll notice down here as we scroll up and down here you have uh, CPU 0 through 3 inclusive four cores. When you have a part of the core it will be indicated on the right side of the CPU designation. So if you were to come into your resource monitor here and see the core park, I'm going to show you how to get around the core park. So we're going to leave this open. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to open our regge editor. So we're going to do this. Um, when you're in the regge editor, what you want to do is be at the very top of the hierarchical structure. So you'll want to highlight computer, make sure you collapse everything because you're going to do a search from here and you want to search the entire registry. So what I've done is I've, ahead of time, I have written down the key here. This is a registry key for core parking. So what you want to do is copy this. I will put this in the main, uh, the front beginning of the video that are under comments for any of you that want to copy this. So you want to copy this key and go to edit within Reg Editor. Click find. Right click, paste the key, select find next. This process will take about 20 to 30 seconds depending on the length of your registry and the amount of entries uh, that, that we're going to change. Uh, some machines have two entries, some have three, some have four, it depends. Okay, so here we are. Uh, there's nothing to change in this key, so what we're going to do is click Edit, and we're going to select Find Next, or the F3 key will do the same thing. So a few seconds, we should find the next entry here. What we're interested in is when this next entry comes up, or the min and max values. As you can see here, we have value max, value max. If you double click this, you'll notice in here that the variable is zero. So what you want to do is uh, any value aside from zero, you want to make this zero. Click OK. And then the same thing for value minimum, zero again. Return to edit. Click find next. Here's our next ones. Again, value max set to zero, value minimum, select to zero, and you're going to return to edit and find next. Once again, value max, same thing again, value zero, value minimum zero, and you're going to click edit, find next, which returns us to this last value, edit, find next, and that's it. So we've changed all the values. So now, after you've done that, you'd be able to return to your task manager, back to your resource monitor, and let's inflate this again. And where you would have had the park beside here is now gone. All four cores are now active. Windows will not park any of your cores. The benefit of having no parked cores is that all CPU load is distributed equally amongst all cores, so giving you a little more performance. Drawback is... Uh, that when doing something a little lighter or a little less in load on the CPU that you're using a little more power. Anyways, I hope that this helps you. Thank you for watching my video. Don't collect to give, uh, forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again. Need to do script?